This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain on caffeine. This is your brain watching Vsauce. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. What is the biggest number you can think of? A Google? A Googleplex? Well, in reality, the biggest number is 40. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that blow your mind, going above and beyond with their production to try and put out their message to the best of their ability. Vsauce is an anomaly of sorts. His ability to take any random fact, any random piece of trivia that seemingly has no point at all, and bring it up in such a way that furthers the objective of his videos should be studied in universities for centuries to come. There's two things one person should keep in mind in their mission to receive knowledge. Existential dread, and how smart you feel walking away from anything you consume. I think we can all agree that we tend to walk away from a Vsauce video feeling smarter and having a little bit more knowledge about the world around us. A little too much knowledge. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Or so we've been told. What if gravity isn't real? What if the Earth is in fact flat and science has been wrong all along? Darkness all around us envelops the very truths we come to discover about everything our universe has to offer. As our circle of knowledge expands, so does the circumference of darkness surrounding it. Learning, studying, shedding light on a field of inquiry also reveals just how in the dark we continue to be, how many shadowy things there are left for us to illuminate. The diameter of light never exceeds the shadowy circumference. But what's the speed of that kind of dark? The speed of the growth of the number of things we know we are in the dark about? What's the speed of ignorance? If we define ignorance as the difference between questions we know to ask and answers we have, the field of agnotology, the study of ignorance, suggests that the amount of things we know we are in the dark about is growing faster than the amount of things we have shed light on. Is it a coincidence that the phrase in the dark originated during, of all ages, the age of enlightenment? These are shade balls. They're being dumped into this water reservoir in Los Angeles. And contrary to what you may have heard, their main purpose is not to reduce evaporation. So what are they really for? Did you know there's a strange universal constant hidden in the number 37? Did you know an infinite hotel can run out of rooms? Did you know that math contains the keys to the universe? Running one of the most successful education channels on YouTube, Derek Muller attacks these questions head on. What does veritasium mean in Latin? Well, it's kind of a made up word. The start of the word veritas is Latin for truth. And then adding I-U-M on the end makes it sound like an element, an element of truth. If you're looking for something genuinely interesting and want a deeper insight into the world around us, what better person is there to explain it than a man whose PhD is literally in using film to help teach physics? I genuinely think this channel makes you feel smarter and more curious about the world around you. Yeah, you really sound like it. I'm sorry, who are you? Hello? 
What the hell was that? Okay, we've covered two channels that have made a dent in the education industry. I'm sure you've seen some of this guy's videos before. An absolute masterclass in YouTube education. CGP Grey. This is the kind of content teachers would play for fifth graders up on their Elmo screen projectors. Remember that thing? Simple explanations, simple graphics, all easily understood by any type of person at any age. CGP Grey takes the role of teacher and addresses society's biggest issues, knowing full well that him as a teacher is fully supported by our current society. And now for the final channel on our list. It's crazy how one channel can constantly leave you questioning your own existence, while also making you worry about things that probably don't even exist. It's the questions, though, that spark every possible idea that has ever been created in the history of humanity. Every single time humanity advances, it always creates more questions, more problems, more conflicts we as humans need to solve. The more the light grows, the more its shadowy circumference spreads out. The truth is never fully solidified. We will always be students. Our lives officially have no meaning.